Class B volleyball teams are beginning district play this week. We still have some more time with those districts before three class volleyball and basketball turn those districts all into regions. In Glenburn, shout out to Panthers alumni Lorelai McIver and Val Stevens, current students at Minot State, coming back to help at home. Val could have picked a better color shirt for DLB when they make the trip north, though. First set Lakers sophomore Logan Eastas serving. Return sent back home by Paige Berard. Burlington up by nine. On the next point, Glenburn sophomore setter Sophie Cunningham sets for Stone Cold Emma Jones. Why do they call her that? Well, nobody does yet, but it's because she's keeping it Stone Cold serious. Emma Panthers back down by 10, but their height up front continues to help. Ella Post, only senior on the team, blocks one. Lakers stay ahead. The set point called on a net violation. DLB won the next two sets for their third straight sweep. At the Castle, two more of District 12's best. Redeemers hosting Surrey. First set, set point from Maya Vibeto. Our Redeemers, right foot, left foot, levitating. Knights win the first set 25 to 19. To the second, ORCS Junior Liber Libero, Olivia Ebel digs. Grace Olson sets. Michaela Altringer kills. She came down on top of the volleyball to get that point. Mustangs got off on a gallop within one point. Melissa Dugan sets up. Mackenzie Neighbors set tying kill. But our Redeemers never fell behind on the set point and offensive opportunity blocked by Leah Lindquist. Knights off to a good start in district play. They're at Bishop Ryan on Thursday. There's a good rivalry. Minot High is also playing in Bismarck tonight. After a shaky start, Majets are now on a four-game win streak. But this evening, they're playing Century. It's the number three team in the West region. It's been a while since Minot beat Century in volleyball. That'll be a good trivia question. Century works outside. Quinn Coast back set for Erica Lee down the line for a kill. Two-point lead. Century Patriots built that lead to seven, but hey, Minot got some great hitters as well, like Zoe Czar for the kill. In the end tonight, Century had Minot's number, it seemed. Outside to Eden Fridley with the kill. Patriots win the set by 10. Sweep ends Minot's four-match win streak. The Majets host Williston on Thursday. Joe, let's do some quick trivia, Northwoods League style. There are two Northwoods League teams that have been around since the inaugural 1994 season. One is the Wausau Woodchucks, who is the other three hints. Team finished second to last in the Great Plains East Division. They're from Rochester, Minnesota, and share the same mascot as Kenmare High School. It's the Rochester.